Hi Kenzie, how are you doing? Um, I haven't got my camera girl with me today, so I just have to um, film it myself like this. Um, so I want to teach you how to do the four operations. Now, as I said to you in text, this really is a very long question because there's lots of different things that you kind of need to know how to do. So I'll have to be, I don't know, quick and just use one example and then I can go from there and teach you some more if you need some help. So if I need to add this mixed fraction here, this is three and two thirds, add two and a third. Well, what we have to do is, is know that this, this, this is a mixed fraction. This, this three and two thirds is really three plus two thirds. And this two and a third is really two plus a third which means that I can combine the big numbers and the small numbers. I can add these together first and then add these together. So this equals 3 add 2, which is 5. Add 2 thirds, add 1 third. Now, this is the bit, this is another little bit that we need to know. We need, need to know how to add fractions. Now, this is really easy because it's got the same denominator. It's got a 3 on the bottom which means that if I can do two thirds, add one third, this equals, well, just this section here, equals something over three because it has the same denominator already. So we just add the top two things. That's, that's how we do it. We add the top two because they have the same denominator. So two add one is three. So that's what the, the fraction becomes. So this becomes five add three over three. Now, hopefully you know three over three equals one. So that means that 5 add 3 over 3, which equals 5 add 1, equals 6. Now that's the final answer, as I say to you. Um, there's lots to talk about. So what do we do if um, uh, it's not the same, it's not the same, what's it called, denominator? Well, I'll show you with the next question. If you had a subtraction instead of an addition, if you had uh, something like um, 4, and two thirds um, minus two and a sixth. So this works in the same way. We we, we do the, the subtraction with the big numbers and do the subtraction with the fraction. So four minus two, well that's two, and two thirds minus a sixth is the fractional um, subtraction to do. So I hope that's okay. Just look at that for a moment. We split up the big numbers and the small numbers. We've got a four minus two gives you two, and then we've got two thirds minus a six, and then we've still got to do this calculation. So this equals, well, 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 well. How do we do this? These, these, This doesn't have the same denominator now. Um, it's got a three and a six. It doesn't have the same denominator. We can't just, we can't just subtract in the same way, just like I showed you. You have to do something to it. Now you've got to change one of them to the other one. It's either this has got to be something over three, or this has got to be something over six. And then if it is that, we can then we can now can subtract it because it would have the same denominator. And that's the key. We have to find a denominator of both of these fractions, which 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 we can turn it to. Now let's say for example this six. I can turn this six into well, I can times it by two, both the top and bottom, and make it two over twelve. Or I could have times it by three to make it three over eighteen, and etc. and etc. and so on. So those are the only numbers that we can we can change it to, and that's the same with the three. We, we can only change it to um, numbers that are in the times table. That's how I like to say it. So we can we could change two thirds into um, four sixths by times in the both the top and the bottom by two. And we can change that to um, six ninths and so on. Dot, 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 dot. So this basically means the only, f we have to change the fractions into a number which is in both of the times tables. Now I'm going to point out that six is in both of the times tables. So that really means that we have to change Hope you follow with this because it really is a long topic. So I'm trying to be quick and we can redo it again with a lesson, maybe if you'd like. Um, so we're going to change this two thirds into, well, like I just said, it's four sixths. Now, because I've changed it to four sixths by timesing both the tops and the bottom by um, 
I too. I like to use lots of colours in my lessons, but I don't currently have quite the time for such a thing. But if we times both the tops and the bottoms by two, that means that we can now we've now got a sum that we can do. Because this now becomes four sixths minus a sixth. And that that little sum equals three sixths. So it would be two plus three sixths. Well, that's two and three sixths. In fact, we'll leave it in the mixed fraction form, just like the question started out with. So that's the little trick. We have to change the fractions into fractions that we can work with. Um, so let's just do this another example here that I've got for you. Five and a half minus three and a quarter. Well, I'll do the big numbers um, subtraction first. Five minus three equals two. Now I've just got um, a half minus a quarter left to do. Now notice this addition I put in here. It's not two times this half. It's two plus. I, I, you know, it's it, there was still a plus there. It was five plus a half and minus three plus a quarter. So we brought this plus with us over here. Um, okay, so now a half minus a quarter. This works the same way. I've got to change these 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 fractions to a fraction that works. So um, the two times table goes two four eight two four six eight, and the four times table goes four. So we can we can change these into the, we could change it to a four. We could change it to eight. Now I'm going to change it to eight just so we can you can see what happens when we change two numbers. So um, let's say that I change it to eight. Well, the half becomes. Um, something over 8 and we're going to times the bottom by 4 to get 8 so we times the top by 4 also to make it 4 so notice that this 4 8 is the same as a half hopefully that's obvious to you if not it's okay no problem um, and, what, and similarly this a quarter is going to be something over 8 so to get the 4 to the 8 you have to times it by 2 to get the 1 to the number it needs to be the question mark you have to times it by 2 also so we do that one times two equals two. So there we go. We have a new sum to do that is the same thing. A half minus a quarter is exactly the same as four eighths minus two eighths. You can check it by putting this in the calculator, you'll get the same answer. So now that it's got the same denominator, we can do it. Four eighths minus two eighths equals two over eight. So I just finish off the final sum. I've still got to do two plus that number three. Well, that's 2 plus 2 over 8. 2 and 2 eighths. 2 and 2 eighths. Oh, my mistake. Yeah, there you go. So then, that is just the first half of it. I'm going to stop the send that over to you. And then I'm going to um, record the other half on multiplications and divisions. As I said, this is only half and I've rushed it. You see how it is a long topic. There's lots to talk about. Um, yeah, so good luck with it. Good luck with it. Um, I'll show you my face again.